subscribe um, but either way what's up guys it's Sam I am back here at the house sadly this time I am alone because I am playing the bath game tonight now I said I do not want to do these games alone but the bath game only requires you to do the first part by yourself yes in this game there are two parts to the game. The ritual happens at night, the invitation if you will, and then the actual game itself happens tomorrow morning when I wake up. This ritual summons an ancient Japanese girl that died in a bathtub. I'm going to go into the bathtub, summon her, and in the morning, I'm allowing her and inviting her to follow me throughout the day. The point of the game tomorrow will be to evade her and hopefully stop her from following me. I've heard mixed things about this game, whether or not she actually does anything harmful to you, possesses you, or kind of brings you to her same fate in, in the bathtub like she died. But I guess we will see. The first part takes place tonight. And just to make it even more special, it is 3 o'clock in the morning, devil's hour. Anything that could possibly be haunted probably happen at this hour. And as you saw from last video, this house is no less haunted than my last house, but at least I'm not making my house any more crazy. So, let's go over the rules. All right, so here's how you play the game. Before you go to bed at night, take off your clothes and go into the bathroom. Fill up the bathtub with water and turn off all the lights. Sit in the middle of the bathtub facing the faucet or taps. Now here's where it kind of gets weird. Wash your hair while repeating over and over the words, Daruma San fell down, Daruma San fell down. In other words, this ritual, because it is a Japanese ritual, is otherwise known as Daruma-san. As you wash your hair, in your mind, you should see an image of a Japanese woman standing in a bathtub. She slips and falls into the rusty tap. The tap goes through her eye and kills her. This is why she haunts these bathtubs when you do it. I'm apparently supposed to keep repeating these same, same words, Daruma-san fell down until I finish washing my hair the entire time and you keep my eyes shut until I leave the bathroom. It says I might hear or feel something behind me or over my shoulder. I should not open my eyes whatsoever. That just means the ritual has worked. When I feel that presence, I should say out loud, why did you fall in the bath? Keeping your eyes shut tightly after that, stand up, get out of the bath with your eyes closed still and exit the bathroom. As soon as you shut the door behind you, it is now safe to open your eyes. You gotta leave the water in the bath overnight and go to sleep. The next morning, when I wake up, the game will begin. I'll explain tomorrow morning what the rules are for the actual game and what I should and should not do, but let's go uh, invite a random Japanese woman to take a bath with me. That should not be taken out of context. Let's go. Unlike my other place, I have a giant freaking bathroom. So I'm actually excited that I'm doing this bath game here rather than a really tiny freaking like closed off bathroom that I couldn't really get out of if I wanted to. But yeah, I'm filling up the bathtub right now as we speak. I got the directions here. I'll turn off my computer. When the time comes, it's freaking creepy, guys, when I turn off the light. Sitting in a bath alone. Like in a house alone that like I'm not used to at all. Just that's even more creepy than like doing my rituals in my house alone. It sucks. I don't know. Good thing is, is once I do the whole bath thing, the whole bath ritual tomorrow, I can spend the day with whoever I want to, and it doesn't really matter. So this is the only part that I have to do alone. <sighs> all right, the bath is done. Oh yeah. There we go. Freaking warm. Now it is time for me to turn off all the lights. Oh god. Oh shoot. So, as I was saying beforehand, I gotta take off my clothes, get in, and then turn towards the faucet and start chanting the ritual. So, here we go. This might be freaking creepy. Uh, I laugh and I try to smile and I try to take these like 3 a.m. challenges lightly. Sometimes, like, deep down, I'm like, 
But I do it for you guys. Also, one thing, thank you to everyone who has subscribed for these games, and that's freaking awesome. I owe it to you guys so much. And for those of you guys that haven't, I want to give you an update. Like, we're down to only 50% of people that watch on a weekly basis that aren't subscribed, so please help us get that number down. And if you watch me on a weekly basis, or if you want to see all these scary vids, just subscribe. I mean, if you watch me anyway, why don't you freaking just hit the subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? Either way, let's freaking do it. Faucets, Malone, all the lights are off. From now on, I'm gonna have to keep my eyes shut the entire time and start changing to room of sand until I feel a ghost presence behind me. And then I have to get out of this bathroom without opening my eyes. This is gonna be hard. Best of luck. Here's goes to the 3 a.m. challenge. Get my hair wet a little bit. So you have to shoot the room of sand fell down. 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 Guys, I see a little lady. I'm just going to ask me this Japanese woman in a bathtub. And I mean, I. I, I realize what I'm supposed to see, so maybe that's why I'm seeing it. Like, guys, I, I know people like are gonna call out this is like I'm just BSing this, but I'm also BSing it too. Like, maybe the only reason why I'm thinking about this is because I know what I'm supposed to be thinking. The room is saying, fell down. The room is saying, fell down. Please tell me that there's not actually something behind me. If I watch this back and there's actually something behind me, I'm going to freak out. You know when you feel someone behind you? Like you don't actually need to see them? I got that for like a split second. So I think that's it. So, oh, 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 okay. But when I feel a presence, I say, why did you fall in the bathtub? Oh. I'm in chills, guys. Okay, again, I don't know where I am. I can't open my eyes or anything. Look, twice, twice here, since I've like started chanting this, I've felt some, something behind me. It might be because I'm expecting it. And my mind's just playing tricks on me. It's like 3 in the morning, so like I'm also super tired. But the skirt's for the last step is getting out of the bathtub and closing the bathroom door. Don't. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. All right, guys. The bathroom door is closed. I gotta leave the water in the bath until morning. That's when I drain it. I apparently just have to sleep here and wake up and nothing should happen to me until the morning. The morning is when the actual game starts. So I think that's where I end it here for tonight. I will see you guys in the morning. Peace. <clears throat> What's up guys? Good morning. Oh, I had a freaking weird nightmare. This house creaked so much in the night. It was horrible really bad sleep but it is the morning so i think the only other part of the ritual is i need to turn off the bed. looks like it kind of half drained a little bit it must not like be full oh it's cold all right i think that's it and today i think i'm just supposed to see her a bunch let me see what the rules are the next morning when i wake up the game is supposed to have begun so that's right now. Throughout the day when I glance over my right shoulder, I'll occasionally catch a glimpse of this Japanese woman I was talking about last night. When she gets closer as the day goes on, you should shout Tomare, which means stop, and run away as quickly as possible. To end the game, you must catch a glimpse of the ghostly woman and shout Kita, which means I cut you loose. This is so weird. Then hold out your hand in front of you and swing it down in a cutting motion. You must end the game before midnight, otherwise... Hello?
Hello? That was so weird. Like right as the bath is like completely drained, they turn back on. I'm so confused. The good thing about this is I'm, I'm just gonna go get ready and I can go back to my other house. I'm probably gonna go see Kat and Colby today and see if they still were haunted from the whole Midnight Man stuff in the last couple games. I don't know. All right, I'll see you guys when I get ready. Uh, I'm just gonna take around this camera all day, basically. And when I do, I'll just show you as much as I possibly can and try to get as much as I can on camera if I do catch a glimpse of her. See ya. I was literally just about to stop by the house and Colby was calling me on the way. Can you repeat what you just said to me? Okay, so, um, I thought you were home for a second, but I, I guess now you're not home. But I was in my room editing, and I hear this crash in your room or whatever, so I went in there, and your paintings just completely off the wall and onto the ground. I, I thought you were, like, playing a trick on me for a second, because I just heard a loud noise, but... No, I've been like, I've been at the other house like all day. I want to come see this. And here, I'll, I'll be up in two seconds. Yeah. Colby. Yeah. What happened? You, the painting. Dude, what? Yeah. I seriously You're not thought, screwing with me? I thought you were screwing with me. What? Because I was in my room, just like with my earphones and everything, and I hear a loud crash or whatever with all this midnight game stuff going on. I thought you were trying to like prank me, so I came in here really fast, like, what the heck, getting ready to get my reaction or whatever, and I saw this and I was like, wait. What the I mean, this isn't, like, I haven't put this up on the wall yet. It was, it's just, every time it's just leaning right there, but... I have never had that fall, yeah, like I don't ever. I understand why it would fall like, that far too. Like it would have to, like yeah, it was even behind this probably that. Hmm. It was leaning up against it, so there must have been some. I mean, the actually, yeah, though the window's open and this fan, this fan is still on. This oh, fan. But how did it not go? That's it, probably the crash I heard. Yeah, probably. This is like heavy, and it like broke too. Brennan could have done that? Oh yeah. That's so weird. What the crap? This is, I don't know if you've seen, but like I just decided to get somewhere else because this room obviously like just is so like crazy right now. I don't know. I, I'm scared of my own room right now. It's pretty insane. Last night I did this thing called the bath game and it's the, the only challenge that like happens like during the day. Apparently all day today this like Japanese ghost is following me. Oh, shit. But this happened when I wasn't here. Yeah. So this weird. doesn't make any sense. Well now you got the freaking midnight man here. A freaking Japanese dude in a bath trying to find you. Like what next? Exactly. That, this is why I'm not at this house. Because I feel like anything more is just going to ruin this house. I don't know. I'm gonna I feel like this house is almost already ruined. Nothing's happened to your room, right? Nothing's happened to my room specifically, but I still hear noises and stuff all around the house. True. That's so weird. I mean, I'm glad I caught that as it was happening, I guess, but this is an exact reason as to why I'm not at my own house. Like, if I'm gonna continue doing these rituals, I gotta, like, go other places or just our house is gonna be ruined. My room is already haunted. Again, I'll have to ask all the roommates. That might have been Aaron. That might have been someone like setting up a prank because literally everyone's filming in this house. So like I said, it, it could have been somebody else. It could have just been Colby too, screwing with me. But I mean, he sounded like he, he didn't know what was going on either. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go see what's up with Kat. Uh, as of right now, I haven't really felt a presence behind me. This is the first thing all day. Uh, that's happened, so I guess I'll see you later. Guys, Katrina and I just went to lunch for some Mexican food, and it might be the Mexican food, but you were saying during lunch that you weren't feeling well. For the past few hours, I'm just like feeling really sick, so I don't know what it is. It's been like at least 24 hours since we've done like any of the ritual stuff. You were home last night. Did you have anything weird to eat last night or anything like that? No, and it's just like I can't even eat. Did you like 
see anything, feel anything, or whatever. I did a I did a bath ritual. We were talking about this earlier, but I was doing this ritual last night. It didn't have anything to do with you. Nothing. So it's, it's literally just been your sickness. I don't know, guys. I, I don't understand this whole like bath game thing because today what was supposed to happen was I was feel, supposed to feel like presences behind me, and I haven't felt much of that. I've only seen like weird things happen. Like she randomly gets sick out of nowhere, and then something weird happens to my room. I feel like something's around, but it's not what I'm expecting. You know. If there's any more weird stuff going on, then I'll let you know. All right, well, I was just taking Katrina home. Uh, she actually really doesn't feel that great, and I, I feel honestly bad. I don't want to blame it on like all the weird ritual stuff that I've done, but like she really, really hardcore believes in this stuff, so like she really thinks that that's, that could be the answer to like why she's feeling bad. But I don't, as for me, as for today, like I said, I was gonna carry my camera around and I was gonna show you every weird thing that happened today and I did. There just wasn't the stuff that I expected, like the over the shoulder, someone always behind you doing things. Like it really, I don't, I don't think it worked that much for me. I mean, like the house is fine. Like nothing weird happened in my bathroom. Like, I don't know. Honestly, I felt better today than any other ritual day, like in any of the other weird bad spirit stuff that's been happening. So like, maybe it didn't work. Maybe I did it wrong. I have no idea. With that being said, there was a lot of other weird stuff that's happening, but maybe I did just do this specific one wrong and I'm, I know other things, especially my other house and this house have been haunted by other games. So it, it was just weird and creepy vibe overall. But again, I think these are fun a lot of the time. So how about we get this to 50,000 likes if you wanna see me do another scary game. And if you do like these, please subscribe. I know there's a lot of you guys that watch these scary games, but hey, if you're gonna watch them every week, why not just subscribe? Um, but either way, wardrobe that is probably the scariest thing about this house but i'll see you guys next time with another 3am challenge peace